Hi, I'm Dad. And I'm Max. Toothless Max Blakely. Hey, I'm not toothless. You did lose a couple teeth though. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so before we started this, oh, I'm sorry. Let's reset. What are you driving today? I'm driving the Blakely's Max. SCP-939, also known as Many Voices. With Many Voices, yes. So before this, we were talking about how hard it was to come up with an intro to each video every day, and I said, well, let's just talk about that. Um, I mean, I guess we don't have to come up with intros. We could just say we're drawing it and then cut to the drawing, but that just comment down below if you boring. like the intros or don't like them. Okay. They take some work. I don't know. Should we go draw? Yes. We'll go draw. All right, SCP-939. 9,000, no wait, 990. Thank you to John Doe Supreme and Joanne Lloyd, who both request this. John Doe Supreme actually requests this a few times. Like, so, two. What do you two. Think? What do you say, Maxie? Should we start with the eyes? But it's got no eyes. I know it. Let's start with the teeth then. Or, you know, I'm gonna start with the top of the head where the eyes would be. Huh. Don't question it. So I uh, looked at a lot of different images of this guy as I was kind of trying to decide what I was going to draw. And they kind of break down into two groups, I would say. There's the ones that were like uh, 939 is like super stocky and squat and then there are the ones where he's a little leaner there are also ones where he has a tail and one where he or she does not have a tail they, they don't have tails yeah but i've seen him depicted both ways um i like the more um the less squat more kind of uh longer limbed one and so that's what I decided to draw for mine. I like my teeth. That's yeah. Pretty. Speaking of teeth, Maxie, you lost two teeth in the last two days. What's up with that? Well, you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of wearing a lot of these tooth. Hey, mom. Rip. Second day. Hey, mom. Rip. You ripped out your own tooth the second day, though. I mean, we say ripped out. It was already wiggly. Yeah, I, I ripped out my second tooth. On the first day, I was like, no, no, I don't want to, like, mom's like, let me rip out your tooth. Like, mom's like, Charlie's like, no, no. And Charlie, then mom's like, let me rip out your tooth. And Charlie's like, fine, I'll do it myself. And then rips out his own tooth. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Charlie ripped out his own tooth. That's right. And then second, and then the day after that, I ripped out my tooth. Yeah, I mean, we say, yeah, we should specify here for the folks at home. You guys did have wiggly teeth. It's not like you were just like, I'm tired of having all these extra teeth. I think I'm just gonna tear them out. Well, folks at home, if you if you if you don't want if you you only rip out the teeth that are really wiggly and you don't want them and and you're tired of them getting being wiggly, so just rip them out. Just ask your mom. Hey, mom, I I don't like my tooth anymore. Can what you if, rip it out? What if they don't have a tooth? Well, they don't have a mom though. They, what if they don't have any teeth. Who doesn't have teeth? Babies don't, but uh, elderly people don't. Oh, yeah. I mean, some some too. Like our gram, my grandma. Your grandma doesn't have any teeth. My grandma, I, I was saying my grandma does have teeth. Oh okay. I was How gonna dare say, you? I know your grandma pretty well. She she does actually have some false teeth. Fun fact. Uh, your guys' grandma. You mean no. had a bunch of root? No, I mean my mother-in-law. Mom's mom had a bunch of her teeth knocked out by a dog, jumped up and smacked her in the face. My guy's like he's gonna have one foot bending over. Mhm. Mm so we're moving down to the leg, and again I sort of combined the elements of some different drawings of this guy that I liked, but mostly it came from uh, we're looking at one sort of reference image. That I just really liked because of the wasn't too stocky. The other thing is a lot of people made like the front legs much longer so that the torso kind of slanted a lot this way, and I didn't love that look. So 
So I like the kind of more, for lack of a better word, gangly. It's still powerful, right? Just longer limbs rather than a lot of depictions. Just he just had like super short limbs. Gotta give him long, spiky, bony fingers. This is a, one of the uh, a kind of SCP that I find super interesting, and that's the ones that kill, but they don't seem to need food. Like they don't they don't kill people to eat them necessarily. I mean, they do eat them, but they don't need them in order to eat. This one, there's another one, uh, the headlights one. That does the same thing. Kills people, but doesn't need to eat. Yep. It doesn't, it kills people and, and eats them, but it doesn't, um... That gets them? It doesn't need to eat. Like, if you deprive it of food, it doesn't, it isn't, like, hurt at all. It eats, it hunts, and eats people because it wants to. Not because it needs to eat people in order to stay alive itself. I'm basically there for nine, three, nine, three. I've got nine. four, oops, forget that part. Yeah, four, three and a half of his four legs done. And this is called Guess the SCP. Guess the SCP. Brought to you in part by the Blakeleys. Not in part even. Brought to you in full by Drawing with the Blakeleys. I feel like I'm pretty happy with this guy so far. Oh no, no simple. SCP blank three blank blank nine. Then there's SCP four blank blank. Four blank blank, huh? Another SCP, but and we only get nine at the end. You have to guess the SCP. Doing these kind of spiny back spines. I also like, um, in addition, the sort of different styles, right? Everyone kind of gives them spikes and long, pokey fingers, but do you give them short spikes? Do you give them long spikes? I think the bigger you go up the back, the, the taller the spikes get. Oh, I'm for go sure. Down to sure. the back, the, the smaller the spikes get. For sure, but I mean, how relatively big do you make the spikes? Big. Yeah, I like a, I like a nice big long spike myself. You know what? There's just this red waiting for me. Just oh, look. don't color it. Don't start coloring yet, though, man. Look at this red. Just a beautiful red. I'm just saying. That is a beauty. I'm just going to set you up. Oh, open. you're just like, you're just going to try and keep me from using it is what you're saying. Oh. Yeah, yeah you cannot use it. It's mine now. Kind of is still yours, but yeah. by now it's mine. Let's see. I'm just going to add some details here. Mine is like, if yours faced against mine, mm -hmm. yours would, mine would, mine would be, have a, mine would eat your whole head off. Your head could fit inside this guy's mouth. I don't know, you'd have to, uh... And my, and my guy's got, like, he looks like a he, if he's, if someone stabbed you with these things, they would, they would, they would feel like balloon man hitting you in the face. These things look like rubber. They just feel like, they just feel like, look at those things. This I thing, pop the, this looks like someone just put the, ripped out his cloth, put deflated balloons on them. Mm-hmm. If you say so. And then they filled these two ones with liquid, so they made a straight line. There's a certain substance on the floor. There's this little ketchup accident. <gasps> yes, definitely ketchup accident, folks. Not yeah, any this kind of. So he he actually blood. someone was walking by and he knocked the ketchup right out of them. <laughs> he ate a bottle of ketchup and someone knocked the ketchup out of them. Mm. Nothing to see here. Just tried to eat the ketchup, but the ketchup was in him, so he exploded. And there's nothing to see here. Just. 
some ketchup on the floor and ketchup in his mouth. Yeah, everyone All likes right. ketchup. Johnny, Johnny, you ready to color this bad boy? Yes. Let's do it. Color. Another SCP in the books. I need you to comment down below what do you think these three SCPs are. Hey, I added this one up here. What do you think they are? SCP P three P. No, not three P three. P three P. It's trying to spell nine. Oh, you put your nines backwards. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you to all the all folks right. who have been submitting comments, especially to. Joanne Lloyd and John Doe Supreme. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this was fun. Yeah. I actually really like how this turned out. Yeah. Nah, see? Right. Yours is in a puddle of blood. This this is Gorefield. Yeah, probably the next one that you and I will do. This one is. Hmm. Four seven five. I don't remember. Off the top it was of like got the dinosaurs with the head, the white heads. Oh, the headlights. I, I thought that was seven and four five. Oh, yeah. oh wait, wrong one. Four oh nine. Zero four nine. Play <laughs> doctor. Ah, uh -huh, we already did that one. And this one is pretty obvious. It's nine three nine. All right. I imagine. On your screen, you should see our logo. logo. Go ahead and click on that to subscribe. Ring the bell and you will be notified about future videos that we put out. Yes. If you'd like to suggest something, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you like this, smash that thumbs up button. <laughs> that actually kind of hurt when I punched my desk. Until next time, friends. Adios. Bye. Bye.